Rocky's and Cheese Tea House. Konnichiwa, I'm san It's Gray from Makazashi's Tea House, home in Japan. How are you doing? Are you good? Are you Genki? Look at me. I'm feeling very spidey yesterday. I've got my Spider-Man t-shirt out, especially for this review. Even though it's very white, it makes me look really pale. What are you going to do? Hey, maybe I look a bit like Tombstone. So, I'm reviewing Amazing Spider-Man issue 3, which came out today. It's Wednesday, June 8th, 2022. It's still priced at 3 dollars and it's written by Zeb Wells, with art by John Romita Jr. First of all, what do you think of this cover? It's quite a good image, it's quite a striking image. You've got Tombstone ripping off Spidey's mask there. Does it happen in the issue? I'm not going to tell you. Okay, so, is this issue any good, and is it worth buying? Well, for me, I'm enjoying it. I know it's controversial, there's a lot of fans not enjoying the series so far, but I'm liking what Zeb Wells is doing. I'm liking his writing style, I like his voices for the characters, and I'm really enjoying his focus on Tombstone. So we learn more about Tombstone in this issue. We get quite a little bit of backstory, and it's really interesting that we see Tombstone when he was a kid. So yeah. Also, we've got Tombstone kind of torturing Spider-Man in this. He's having fun with him. He's beating him up. He's got him chained up in an abandoned subway tunnel. Let me show you some of the art from inside by John Romita Jr. Here he is. Look at Peter Parker. Poor Peter Parker in trouble again. How is he going to get out of it? We're not going to find out in this issue, I'll just say that. But it's, it's, it's a really good character development issue. But I've got to warn you, it opens with a little bit of controversy. If you remember what happened at the end of issue one, we saw this new character, well, new to us, a guy called Paul. Who is he? We're not sure. Is he Mary Jane's husband? Mary Jane's boyfriend? It's not made clear, and we still don't know, but he's trying to track down Peter Parker. There you go. That's how it opens. We also get a nice development in the story of Randy Robertson, who's courting Tombstone's daughter, Janice. What's he doing? Is he crazy? You know it's going to end in flames, don't you? It's going to end in tears for sure. So yeah, I did. I enjoy this story. I'm into it. I'm digging it. I'm looking forward to the next issue already, which I believe is out at the end of this month. So what I'll do is I'll give her my short story summary, a little bit of commentary on the story. I'll show you some of the art from inside. And I'd love it if you let me know what you think of the issue and what you think about the review. And please tell me if you're enjoying the series or not. Okay, please keep watching. Here we go. It's fine, MJ. I'm just going to talk to him. Last seen at the end of issue one in a controversial scene, we have Paul, who appears to be either the boyfriend, husband, it's not clear, of Mary Jane. He's making his way to Peter Parker's apartment. How about that? Me too. He meets the debt collector outside. The debt collector's been after Peter Parker to pay off his hospital debts. Paul asks him how much does Parker owe, and he tells him, you don't want to know. Then in a strange, bizarre, kind of unbelievable act of charity, Paul offers to pay off some of Parker's debt. And he offers the debt collector $1,500 to leave Peter alone for a couple of weeks. After walking into Tombstone's trap at the end of issue two, we find Spider-Man bound in chains in an abandoned subway tunnel. Wake him up, says Tombstone. He grabs Peter's mask. No, m my mask. Tombstone doesn't care about who he is, he just wants to inflict pain. This is pretty brutal. He's putting Spider-Man through the ringer. Spidey cries out in frustration. Chains aren't gonna give. No one's gonna hear you. What's going on? What's this all about? He asks Tombstone. Tombstone tells him, I'm teaching you a lesson. We switch scenes to a diner in upstate New York, where Tombstone's daughter, Janice, is talking to Randy Robertson. Randy clumsily he's trying to ask her to marry him but she ends up turning the tables on him and asks him instead randy says yes good answer and he's trying to call his dad but he can't get him on the phone back to the subway tunnel and tombstone's telling spidey a story about lions most of the time lions stay out a man's way but every now and then you get what's called a man eater he's telling spidey that scientists people smarter than me have tried to figure out why that happens but at the end of the day, sometimes, a lion just goes bad. Then we hear a rumbling sound. One of Tombstone's cronies tells him, It's just the F train. Tombstone gets angry and grabs him. F doesn't come to Harlem. Switch scenes again and we have Robbie Robertson in a limo, trying to get service on his phone. Then the door opens and in steps White Rabbit. She tells him the boss wants to see him, and they're already late. 
back to Tombstone and now he's telling Spidey another story, his origin story, why he filed his teeth. When he was young he was hungry, he didn't have anything and he was getting bullied. He was smaller, he was weaker, he was outnumbered by the bullies. So he had an idea, I'd make them get close enough to hear me. Jump! He bites one of the bully's ears and tells Spidey, they never bother me again after that. Suddenly, in walk a group of armed men, and Spidey thinks it's the Rose's men. Tombstone laughs it off. Ha! These are my men. They're dressed up like Rose's goons. They're gonna go on a little rampage. No, wait! Tombstone, this is crazy! People are gonna get hurt! Spidey tries to break free, but he can't. The armed men walk up the stairs. And just before Tombstone leaves, he tells Spidey, Your old friend, Robbie Robertson gonna show him what happens when his kid tries to take my daughter. Kill him. No, don't do this. And that's where I'll end my story summary. Well, there we go. Amazing Spider-Man issue three. I hope you enjoyed it. Now let me share some variant covers. This one is by Javier Garon. It's got a nice image of Spidey swinging and attacking some weird multi-eyed creature there. Then we have this variant cover by the artist Inhyuk Lee. Look at that, it's a weird Venom version of Spider-Man, the black suit Spider-Man. What do you think? I love the full moon in the background there. Okay, and just let me show you the preview of next issue's cover. This is issue four. This is out at the end of this month, so the end of June. Look, Spidey, he's all right. He's fighting everyone. He's there, so come on. We know he survives, right? No spoilers there. Okay, that's it for my review. I hope you enjoyed it. Please leave a comment. Let me know what you think about the series so far. Are you enjoying it? Is it just me? Come on, it can't be, can it? Um, I'd love to see you in a future video. Okay, so this is Grey from Wakazashi's Tea House. Signing off for the night. Matane. Wakizashi's Tea House. Please subscribe.